press enter and that will reset IIS for you. Step three, set up the DSL router. Now we'll configure the router. So in the router, in the firewall rules, on the inbound services, we need to bring the packets or forward the packets, the incoming packets from the router to the exchange server. Now you'll notice there that we've got, um, we've got uh, some VPN rules, but down here starting with the mail rules, we've got SPOP, TLS, S, S, SMTP, Exchange, SMTP, HTTPS. Now those ports, uh, secure pop is on 995, TLS is 143, secure SMTP is 993, uh, exchange mail protocol is 587, uh, SMTP is on 25 and HTTPS is on 443. Now notice how all of those um, protocols on those particular ports go to 100 or 192.168.42.100 which is our exchange server. So to add those, let's just move forward a little bit here and I'll show you how to um, add these in. Uh, just go to uh, inbound services, add a new inbound service. For example, we're adding SMT S, uh, secure SMTP on 993. Uh, we're allowing that and we're sending it to the LAN server, which is 192.168.42.100. So that's all you need to do is just set up those protocols and forward all of those to that point. Uh, here's another example, HTTP on 80, forwarding to 100. Taking a look at our, um, our IP address or ADSL port IP address, which is our WAN address, it's uh, 60.240.77.77. Now that'll be relevant when we look at our, um, our A record shortly on our external DNS. So remember that number, that's our external address or WAN address on our router. Uh, the other relevant uh, IP address is this one here 192.168.42.100 which is our gateway to the internet and that's set on our exchange server. Step 4, register a domain. Step 5, set up the external DNS. Now we'll take a look at our A record and MX records uh, settings on our external DNS server. So we'll log, in our, log into our um, settings into our console we're using net registry so we'll just log in there and you'll notice there in our console we've got um, the zone manager so we'll go into zone manager uh, various settings there and you'll notice that we have our up the top there we can add an a record and an mx record now just here you'll notice wise mail and our ip address our wan ip address which is 60.240.77 which we just looked at a moment ago and also we have auto discover and our WAN address also. So we'll take a look at setting that up down here in a moment, but down here notice we've got trainwise.com and over here on the right we have wisemail.trainwise.com and autodiscover.trainwise.com. So that's our A record attached to our domain. So that's our MX record. So what happens when mail comes in, it goes to the DNS server because it knows where trainwise.com is and it says take me to Wisemail. Wisemail will then say, well that's our A record, take it to the WAN address which is the router. The router then forwards it to our exchange server internally which is 192.168.42.100. So to set up an A record, let's just take a look at that and go up here to A. Uh, type in our name, look this is just a sample I'll type in here now, mail test for the A record and then the host is our IP address. So here you would type in the A record of your choice, it can be anything you like, and then your WAN IP address. So add record and there it is there, you'll notice, see how you've got mail test and the WAN address. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look at adding a, um, uh, an MX record. So you type in the name is the domain which is trainwise.com and the exchange in this case is wisemail.com for us but we've just used mail test as an example. Click add record and that's it down there. So you'll see our MX record is mailtest.trainwise. Now since we don't need those we're going to delete those um, and that's it. So set your A record and MX record up on your external DNS and we'll move on to the next section. Step six, connect the iPhone to the exchange server. Okay, we're ready now to connect to our exchange server with our iPhone, but firstly we need to connect to our wireless connection um, or our wireless router. So let's just select settings from there. Now you'll notice we've got a 3G setting or connection at the moment. Wi-Fi is not connected. So we'll click on that. We've got WDW training. Select that, type in our password and once our password's up, we've got a nice little tick there 
next to DW Training and you'll see our Wi-Fi is now connected. Connecting to our Exchange server. Tap on the settings icon, scroll down, go to Mail Contacts Calendars, click on Add Account or tap on Add Account, tap on Exchange, type in your email address. Now in our case we created a user called T1 at trainwise.com uh, the username's T1, type in your password, accept. Now notice that the um, using Autodiscover, the server, it's automatically picked up the server and popped in wisemail.trainwise.com for us. So then we click on next, accept, and there it is there, it's synchronized and accept, accepted our mail settings and tap on save. And that's it. There's our account, T1 at trainwise.com. Step seven, send an email to our iPhone. Well, now we'll log into our Exchange server using a browser. We'll use Firefox, so load that up. Type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash your fully qualified domain name slash OA. Uh, again, ours is wisemail.trainwise.com. Uh, should know that by now, I would imagine. Uh, then you've got to add an exception. So click on add an exception there. Add exception, get certificate, confirm security exception. And that's it. So we're in now. We're going to log in as T2. So that's from Firefox. We're going to do ours from um, Safari just because we like Mac and we can. So we'll log in again from here. Click uh, Show Certificate, DWTM Certificate. That's just a standard certificate installed. Uh, we're not going to use that anyway. Click on Continue. And we can now log in. So let's log in as T2, put in our username T2 and our password. Set our country settings, time, date, current time zone, click OK, and we're in. So there's our mail account. We've connected to our Exchange server. So let's send a message to T1, and we'll have a look at that in a minute on our iPhone. So we'll select T1 from there. Type in a subject, hello, and then we'll type in from T2. Click on the send icon and that message is gone. Now let's take a look at our iPhone and we'll see what's happened here. Message should pop up and there it is. So there's our email message. Click on the message. Trainee 2. Ah, uh, hello from T2. And that's it. We've successfully set up Exchange and mailed to our iPhone. Congratulations. I hope you've enjoyed this session. For the complete step-by-step -step three hour instructional video, download a detailed 12 episode copy at hotfoottraining.com. It really is easy. I've tested this on 12 year old secretaries and others who've never set up Exchange Server. They did it easily and hassle free.